Hello friends, these 50 gardening rules of thumb, do's and don'ts, tips and tricks can make all the difference and make you a gardener with a green thumb. Whether you are a beginner or an expert, please watch and implement all these 50 rules and be a successful gardener. Gardening needs patience. Gardening takes time to master and plants take time to blossom, cuttings take time to root, seeds take time to germinate. Not every plant will be a winner for you. Do not give up if you fail or your plant dies. Go scientific. Always gain the right knowledge on plant care tips. Beware of unscientific shortcuts, unscientific hacks, fertilizers and stuff like that seen on the internet. Use your common sense and reasoning before jumping into some nonsense tips. Do you know the surest way to kill a plant? Apart from overwatering or underwatering, the biggest killer is over caring a plant. You know, too much is too bad. Do not get upset when a plant dies. It's not a failure, it's an opportunity to learn from your mistakes. Thumb rule for watering. Overwatering is one of the biggest killer. Use the finger dip method to check for moisture. Dip an inch of your finger into the soil. Water it only if it's dry. The most common reason a plant fails to bloom is not enough sun. As a general rule, most flowering and fruiting plants need at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight in a day. Many plants wilt in hot sun even if the soil is moist. Do not water them seeing this wilt. Overwatering can kill them. Examine your plants in early morning when it's cooler and if it's found wilted then water them. Butterflies are the most beautiful visitors to your garden. Attract them by planting their favorites like the butterfly bush, zinnia, lantana, marigolds, salvia, pentas, fire bush and many other plants. Encourage beneficial insects and pollinators like butterflies and honeybees in your garden. Do not use powerful chemical pesticides on your plants, it can kill them. Avoid wetting the leaves whenever you water the plants. Wet foliage encourages disease and fungus in most plants. A kinked garden hose is a waste of time and energy. Invest in a good quality garden hose for peace of mind. Fruits and vegetable plants need full sunlight of at least 6 to 8 hours and leafy greens do not. They can be grown even in partial sun or indirect bright light in shady spots. You know you are a true gardener if you accept a gift of cow dung manure and feel happy on your birthday or similar occasion. Neem oil is the best and safe organic pesticide to get rid of a lot of pests and diseases in your garden. Always say no to chemicals. For treating a pest affected plant, always start with the least toxic option first like the neem oil or even plain soap water. Go for the powerful options only as the last resort. You know you can make a more potent organic pesticide by mixing neem oil with other oils like clove oil and eucalyptus oil. You know you can burn your plants or even lose them if you apply overdose of chemical fertilizers like the NPK, DAP or urea. On the other hand, your plants are absolutely safe with organic fertilizers like cow dung compost or vermicompost. Prepare a garden maintenance schedule or timetable and reminders on your calendar like watering, pruning, fertilizing, pest control and other important gardening tasks to follow regularly to keep your plants healthy. Grouping plants of similar family for better maintenance like the succulents and cacti which need watering once or max twice in a week. Water loving plants, flowering plants and shade loving plants all must be grouped separately for proper maintenance. Choose the right plant for the right location depending on its sunlight requirements like whether it's sun loving or flowering plant and shade loving plants. That's again grouping of plants. Soil is the king. Your garden will be as good as your soil. Take your time to prepare the best potting mix. The right proportions of various ingredients like the soil, compost and other stuff are important for best results. Most of the plants love sunlight plus a well draining soil to perform well. Always remember this when you purchase a new plant or repot a plant. Focus on preventing diseases and problems more than curing them. 
Prevention is better than cure. Even if your plants are pest free, spray a pesticide like neem oil at least once in a fortnight as a maintenance dose. Make it a habit to remove weeds and other unwanted plants at least once in a week. Topsoil raking or tilling should be performed once in 15 days or at least once in a month to improve soil aeration. Fertilize your plants at the same time when you till or rake your topsoil. A handful of organic fertilizer like decomposed cow dung powder or vermicompost can keep your plant healthy. Know your plant by its name and family. This is very important to learn about the requirements of a plant like water, sunlight, fertilizers and so on. You can use some useful plant identification apps on your phone like picture this app or even the free Google Lens tool in your Google search app to identify plants. Soil pH and temperature can be very important. Make sure you have this type of simple pH and moisture meter and also the soil thermometer. Also learn more about the ideal soil pH required for plants and ways to alter the soil pH. Soak your seeds. Most seeds benefit from pre-soaking and germinate faster. Soak them for several hours or overnight in room temperature water before sowing them. Always use garden protection wherever applicable like using garden gloves while handling potting mix and even cacti. Wear a mask while applying a pesticide. Pruning or trimming plants is an important task in gardening. You know the best time to prune your plants. For most plants, it's just at the end of its dormancy period, which falls mostly in late winter or early spring. Do not hesitate to trim your plants to make them more bushy and increase flowering and fruiting. Keep your garden clean and avoid water stagnation to avoid breeding of mosquitoes and other harmful insects. After all, health is wealth. Rule of thumb for watering Generally, for most plants, it's better to water less often but thoroughly till it reaches all the roots. Instead of watering more frequently with small sips of water, thorough watering like until the water drains out of the drainage holes is the recommended method. For cloning your favorite plant and growing its cuttings, always make a sharp cut at 45 degree cutting angle, half an inch below a node with a clean cutting tool. Container selection is also very important in gardening. Choosing the right size and the type of container like clay and cement planters for keeping in full sunlight and plastic and other types for keeping them in shade or even indoors. Use organic fertilizers and not chemical fertilizers. You can mix various fertilizers like cow dung powder, vermicompost, neem cake powder, bone meal powder etc. to make a cocktail to offer the best nutrients to your plants. When you purchase seeds, always go for F1 or F2 hybrid seeds and even heirloom seeds for the best results. When you purchase plants from a nursery, examine the plant for any pests. One infected plant can spread the pests to your entire garden. Repot your potted plants in the next larger container once every one or two years. You can reuse your old potting soil by removing the roots and other debris and adding fresh compost to it. Always check the patency of the drainage holes, especially just before the rainy season. If water is not flowing out, use a sharp tool to make the drainage hole patent. Keep ants away from your garden. Ants can carry sucking pests like aphids and mealybugs to the growing tips of the plants and they have a symbiotic relationship. Use remedies like borax powder or diatomaceous earth powder to get rid of ants. Never mix sawdust or any raw stuff into your potting mix or as this can cause nitrogen deficiency in your plants. Nitrogen stealing effect applies as the sawdust steals nitrogen from the soil in its decomposition process. Do not kill earthworms in your soil or containers. They are gardeners best friends and make the soil fertile. Install a shade net or green net for your plants in summer season to protect them from scorching summer sun. Gardening keeps you healthy and is a cure for depression, anxiety and many other ailments. Learn to interpret leaf yellowing and leaf browning whether at tips or at edges. Do not panic. Know the reason and treat them accordingly. Check out all my related video links in the description below. 
learn to interpret leaf curling like upward curl or downward curl or curl due to pests and other things and treat accordingly. Sow the right seeds in the right season like summer or winter vegetables or summer or winter flowers. You can use a garden planner software or google this for the zone you live in. Grow plants faster and healthier using air pruning pots, fabric grow bags and coco coir pots. Then finally, work smart. Use some sensible gardening shortcuts and hacks to save time and achieve success. Please watch these 100 gardening hacks and shortcuts from the link circled right here. Please like and share this video with your friends. Happy gardening!